Do you need to downsize a home fast? Maybe you have less than a month to move a loved one out of their home where they have lived for decades. A sudden illness or death can force siblings, partners, or family friends to take the role of decluttering expert. Hi, I'm professional organizer Katherine Lawrence. I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. Folks hire professional organizers to downsize their home in just a few days. So how is that even possible? And how can you help expedite this process? This video is about how to downsize a home when you are under an extreme time crunch. For a written guide of a day-to-day -day breakdown, go to the blog post on my website and I'll add a link to that in the description box of this video. Okay, so day number one, you want to inspect the space and secure resources. Now, you may be familiar with the space or you may be entering it for the first time. You wanna do a complete walkthrough, including sheds, basements, crawl spaces, attics, garage. Um, find out what you see there. Are there large collections and bulky items like cars or antiques that will need special handling? Are there cabinets filled with papers, photos, and small items that are going to be tedious to sort? Are there categories like clothing, linens, kitchen items that may not have monetary value, but that are filling up a couple of different rooms? Once you have a sense of the space and its contents, it's time to secure some resources. You will not have specific details yet, but the resources you will need to enlist are haulers, movers, auctioneers, appraisers, charities, consignment shops, cleaning services, a storage unit, and all the free labor you can secure. I'll leave this up for a moment. Go ahead and take a screenshot. You're also going to want to identify a source to purchase these supplies. What you will need are trash bags, banker boxes, painter's tape, Sharpies, miscellaneous bags and boxes for recycling and donations, moving boxes, weather tight storage bins, packing tape, full adhesive sticky notes, a tape measure, photo boxes, mask, and gloves. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that and I'll also have some of the products listed in the description box below. You may not need to purchase all of these and certainly not on the first day. You may make several trips over the week, but just today get a plan in place. Keep your tablet, smartphone, or notebook handy to keep track of a list of services you can call and the supplies that you need to secure. Okay, on day two, you are going to clear out the four P's. So one of the most valuable things I learned from working with estate sellers is that other than the four P's, with the exception of trash, everything else in the home can be sold. So what are the four P's? They are photos, paperwork, perishables, and prescriptions. So this really changed the way I looked at downsizing homes. With enough hired help, even the largest estates could be downsized quickly. Now, this does not mean you have to sell everything in the home you know, via an estate auction service, but it gives you the option and a starting point. Two of the four Ps, which are photos and paperwork, contain things of such great value that are so tedious to sort that I recommend in an extreme time crunch that you pack these items up into photo boxes and banker boxes and move them to another location or a climate controlled storage unit. When packed properly, a small five by seven storage unit will hold tens of thousands of these documents. Now you may need to locate certain legal and financial documents in the downsizing process. Provide a list of these items to your helpers so everyone can search for these items as you pack away the papers to sort when you have more time. Clearing the other P's, perishables, and prescriptions do not typically take as long 
and can be easily discarded quickly. Okay, let's take a look at day three. Today is all about picking favorites. If you or your loved one is downsizing because of a move, now is the time to pick the furniture and other large items that will be accompanying them to the new space. If the downsizing is due to a passing, this is a time to choose valuable or sentimental items to keep and relocate. You can use painter's tape to mark these special items. If things are going to multiple people or locations, uh, purchase painter's tape in different colors like blue, green, or yellow. I don't recommend putting uh, stickers or regular tape to or using those to mark items because the residue can damage your valuables. For large complicated estates, I recommend creating a spreadsheet to list all the items and collections including where the item will go eventually and the means by which it will get to its new home. If you are downsizing to a smaller home, it's helpful to have a floor plan handy and take measurements to assure that everything will fit into the new space. Okay, day four. Today is about packing. You wanna bag up the remaining trash and recyclables, pack additional items to move to another home or to storage, and by the end of the day, the only things left in the home should be items to sell or to donate. And you wanna label your boxes clearly, like storage unit or Bob's house, in addition to notes about the contents. Now, don't pack liquids or chemicals as they could spill and damage other items. And do not pack in really large boxes unless you're hiring professional movers. It's easier to store and safer to move smaller boxes. If you want it, box it up, seal it up, label it, and stack it up. Now be really selective. You only wanna pack the things that you will love and use. You do not wanna create more clutter and overwhelm in another location. Okay, day five. Today is about moving. Today you wanna have secured charities, haulers, an auction house to eliminate the remaining items. Ideally, you wanna move items that you are keeping out first. And this ensures that there's no confusion and that a treasured item does not get sold or end up at Goodwill. Some charities offer pickup. In my experience, they are very selective and have narrow schedules. Hiring a hauling service ensures that all items are removed on time. And you can request that haulers take items to a specific charity or to multiple stops. Or you can hire a moving company to take one load of boxes to storage and the other load to a charity. If you are working with an online auction house like Max Sold, you can leave items out for the agents to photograph. Now, you may wish to do some sorting and inventory for your own records, but do not worry if you run out of time. Just confirm that everything in the house is for sale and let the estate agents help you with the final sorting and organizing. In researching an estate agent, be sure they have an exit strategy for unsold items and a final cleanup. You may also wish to have a professional cleaning crew come in after the auction so that the house is ready to go on the market if you are selling the property. The important thing is that by this day, you have made all the decisions about the things that you wish to keep. So are you downsizing for yourself, a parent, a friend, or maybe a client? Let me know in the comments below. If you have a longer timeline, check out my other downsizing video, which is how to downsize your home in 10 simple steps. And if you are in the Richmond, Virginia area and need assistance, check out my website for prices and scheduling. I'll put those links in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips on decluttering, downsizing, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.